Because I run this channel, I receive a lot of questions about game hacking. The most common question is, how do I make a cheat 4x game? Unsurprisingly, the game is usually Fortnite. The people who ask these questions are very difficult to help because one, they have no concept of how cheat development works, and two, they are not prepared to spend time learning. Game hacking is not about talent, wizardry, or being a genius. It's about how many times you're willing to fail during the learning process. Nothing worth doing is easy, and hacking games requires a ridiculous amount of skill and experience in many areas of computer science. Game hackers, at the very minimum, are low-level programmers who possess an intimate knowledge of the computer. The first step for any beginner is to learn a programming language. Most people will tell you to learn C++, and I agree, but you don't have to learn it first. You can use pretty much any language to hack games. It just so happens that C++ is usually the best tool for the job because it's fast, compiled, unrestricted, and it's the industry standard for video games. I started with C++ and it was very difficult for me. I gave up after a few months and I didn't touch programming for another year. One day I decided to learn Python because I wanted to make a Discord bot. This changed my perspective on programming because Python is a lot more rewarding in the beginning as it's a much simpler language. I then went back to C++ with a new attitude and the rest was history. LearnCPP.com is unironically a good resource to learn the language. There are plenty of well-written chapters that are constantly being updated by the authors. The website follows a linear progression. You start by setting up your environment and end with a detailed knowledge of the language. Personally, I don't like reading that much, so I'm going to recommend the Cherno and the New Boston over here on YouTube. Together, they have hundreds of high quality C++ tutorials, so pick your poison. I'll leave the links down below. The important thing about this is that you need to be doing the exercises and writing code for yourself while you study, or else you are never going to learn. You don't need to become a C++ god, you just need to know enough C++ to use the Windows API, which should take you a couple days at the very least. Once you know enough to code a command line calculator, it's time for you to start hacking. To start off, I'm going to recommend Game Hacking Academy. It wasn't around when I was learning, but I wish it was. It's completely free and full to the brim with well-written tutorials that take you from a conceptual understanding of hacking to actually making cheats. Next, I'm going to mention Guided Hacking, because I believe it's one of the best places a beginner could start. They have a well-written game hacking bible which basically holds your hand and teaches you all the basics. But that's the thing about Guided Hacking. The platform is tailored towards beginners. As you keep learning and improving, Guided Hacking becomes less valuable. At least that was my experience. What became more valuable to me though was good old Unknown Cheats. In the beginning, I couldn't understand the posts on Unknown Cheats, but once I got the ball rolling and started gaining momentum, things started to make sense. They've been around since the earth was made, and there is so much information on that forum, it's silly. The final resource I want to mention is GitHub. There are thousands of open source cheats on the internet that you could be studying, but you aren't. You do require a certain level of experience to be able to interpret code, but once you reach that point, the sky becomes the limit. I think the best way to begin is by making external trainers for games without anti-cheats. This is because you can read and write process memory from the Windows API without anything getting in the way. It's also extremely rewarding because this is actual game hacking. While you're making those, you need to start getting familiar with reverse engineering tools. Things like Cheat Engine, Reclass, and IDA Pro. Half of game hacking is reverse engineering and you can't ignore that skill in the beginning because you will fall behind. You need to manage your motivation very carefully because you are probably not going to be hacking Fortnite anytime soon. Your goals must be realistic. If you have no programming experience and you intend on hacking a kernel anti-cheat protected game, you are going to be disappointed. You still have years of learning ahead of you. Personally, I never went to school for this stuff, nor have I ever purchased a book or a course, so I can't help you there. If you have any of those suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below for other people. The best time to start learning was about 10 years ago, but the second best time is right now. So good luck. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you later. Cheers.